Parkinson's disease. So Parkinson's disease is the degenerative disease of the central nervous system. It results from the degeneration of dopamine generating cells in substantia nigra in the basal ganglia. The cause for degeneration is really unknown today. Now we come to the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's. All the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's are movement related and that are very obvious. First is rigidity, second tremor, third bradykinesia, slowness of movement, fourth postural instability and difficulty in walking, fifth shuffling gait, and sixth micrographia that is problems with handwriting. Patient writes in very small handwritings. Now, assessment of Parkinson's. Assessment of Parkinson's again subdivided into five main domains. The first is a clinical measurement. Some people call it as a clinimatrix. Second, physical signs. Third, assessment of balance and posture. Fourth, arm and hand function. And fifth, gait and walking. Margaret Hohen and uh, Melvin Yaher published a scale in the year 1967 that is still the oldest and the most useful scale for the Parkinson's disease. It has five stages of severity. Stage one, patient has unilateral involvement, like one side of the body is involved. Stage two, bilateral involvement, but without impairment of the balance. Stage three, mild to moderate severity on the bilateral side, patient has postural instability, but patient is physically independent. Stage four, severe disability, bilateral, but patient can stand and walk unassisted, without any assistance. And the stage five and the highest stage of severity is patient is either wheelchair bound or bedridden. Now we'll see the balance and posture in Parkinson's disease. Balance is very important. Difficult patient finds always difficult to keep the balance and a stable posture. Statistical data shows that 50% of Parkinson's patients do fall. So half of the Parkinson's patient had fall. Now assessment by time up and go test. It's very easy. Ask the patient to stand up, walk for 10 feet, return and reoccupy the chair. Now we'll see the arm and hand function. Parkinson's patient has resting tremors. So Parkinson's tremors is involuntary rhythmic shaking of the body, mostly the hands. But these tremors are not the essential tremors. Patient has pill rolling tremors. Micrographia has a little bit of the contribution from the tremors. The scale to check the arm and hand function is the fugal mayer motor assessment scale. Now we come to the gate, Parkinson's gate. Some people call it as a shuffling gait because it contributes to small steps and patient has difficulty in picking up their feet because they have tightness in hip flexors and knee flexors that are the hamstrings. Patient has freezing of gait. Patient froze with, without any direction. So gait outcomes can be taken in three different domains. First is the gait outcomes. So in that six minute walk test. Now, six minute walk test is mainly useful for the cardiac patients, but in this six minute walk test, you assess the speed of the patient because patient has shuffling gait, uh, small step length reduced. So, and ch second thing, check the cadence, like the steps taken per minute, step length. Third, check the step length because patient take smaller steps and then count the number of freezing episodes because patient freeze without any direction. The second thing we check in the Parkinson's gait is functional mobility and balance. Functional mobility. Like how? Functional reach test. Ask the patient to stand straight and reach forward. If the patient could able to reach less than six to seven inches, that six to seven inches less than six to seven inches that indicates patient has limitations in functional balance now mobility time up and go test and work balance scale work balance scale has 12 items now in the function uh, in the parkinson's gate the last thing you evaluate is data on falls first thing how many number of falls and second is false efficacy scale it has 10 items 
in a 10 point oxygenality scale. If it's less than 70, that indicates patient has fear of falling. Thank you.